The Fountain, day 133. <laughs> Found. Not all who wander are lost. That's a famous saying. And I believe that sometimes it's true because what we're really doing is looking for the place we fit. We're searching for our place in the puzzle of life. Each piece fits in one location of the giant jigsaw and some of us take longer than others to discover our place. I have had many wandering seasons, but lately, even in the wandering, I feel very found. In a time when many would say we're in a transition and they may wonder where this is all leading, some may question our relationship with God as we pull back from church as normal. Others likely gossip about how long it's taking for us to move and may think we were being dishonest about doing it in the first place. All that is just noise and it doesn't matter. <clears throat> what does matter is that we are deep in a season of listening and obeying. At every juncture, God has given specific instruction for us to follow and has not afforded us the luxury of explanation or foreseen outcome. We've been knee deep in simple obedience. When my kids were young, we taught them all the way, right away with a good attitude method. Some parental instruction doesn't require explanation. It's important for children to learn to simply obey sometimes. This can be a life-saving training because when you're out and see imminent danger before your child, if you wait to explain, it could be too late. Some moments require simple trust. Trusting that as a parent, you have their best in mind. Trusting that you are protecting them. That's our season with God right now. Trust. Trusting that he has a good plan for us. Trusting that when he gives direction that requires immediate course correction, we don't worry about others' feelings, but we simply follow him. I've seen in retrospect multiple ways that God has protected us in this current season by acts of immediate and unexplained obedience. He's been guarding and protecting our hearts and our family unit in unity. He's been moving like a father bear to guard us. Like a roaring lion, he's corralled us in one specific direction and out of the grasp of the wrong way. It's both humbling and exciting. He has a plan. This is why in the midst of so much change, I've never felt more found. Are you found? Are you wandering? Are you willing? God, thank you for taking us on adventures. Thank you for loving us enough to lead us into the best you have for us. Thank you for choosing us. Draw us, Lord. Never let the voice of the earth resonate in our hearts. Let us always and forever be led by you in Jesus' name. Amen. Lord, you alone are my inheritance, my cup of blessing. You guard all that is mine. The land you have given me is a pleasant land. What a wonderful inheritance. I will bless the Lord who guides me. Even at night, my heart instructs me. I know the Lord is always with me. I will not be shaken for he's right beside me. No wonder my heart is glad and I rejoice. My body rests in safety for you will not leave my soul among the dead or allow your Holy One to rot in the grave. You will show me the way of life <coughs> granting me the joy of your presence and the pleasures of living with you forever. Psalm 16 verses 8 through 11.